Hi guys, I'm Shuman and welcome to the very first episode of Wrestling News by HGDIY. Now I'm going to cover a few points some latest news. First, we have CM Punk feature with WWE. On next, we will have AEW superstar suspended because of Sasha Banks. Another, we have will Jeff Hardy leave WWE and finally Drew McIntyre opponent come for from SummerSlam. Now before going any further, if you need to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell to stay notified. Before telling you about the suspension of Sami, I'm going to tell you what exactly happened between Sami and Sasha. So it all started with a tweet of Sasha Banks where she tweeted that the hug and boss connection is actually better than Chris Jericho and Sami connection. After that fan becomes uh, more curious about the whole situation because it's in between WWE and AEW and in this whole scenario a old video of Sami a old podcast video of Sami resurfaced on the internet where he made some disturbing incredibly disturbing remarks about Sasha Banks after that fans become fans of Sasha Banks including all the wrestlers become furious with Sami because of the disturbing comment after that Sami tweeted an apology to Sasha Banks that whatever he said was not he mean and whatever he said he was like out of his mind and he, he said jokingly not in a manner of to offend someone and Sasha Banks also made it clear that she, she and Sami have an open discussion about the entire topic about the entire controversy after that AEW suspended Sami without pay until future notice Jeff Hardy is going to leave WWE and going to join AEW by joining his brother Matt Hardy on the side. One big reason is that in his match against Sheamus, he was looking slightly elder than Sheamus. Even both of the superstars are of approximately the same age. And another thing that I personally feel is Jeff Hardy is not being utilized by the company well since he joined the company. I mean, we all we all remember the iconic return of the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania, but just focus on Jeff Hardy. Did you remember anything much his his feud with Randy Orton was quite good but it's supposed to be extend a pretty bit more longer anyways Jeff Hardy himself is not happy with his character in WWE and even if he want to leave WWE I don't think he will hesitate before leaving WWE now a question arises why Jeff Hardy is still in WWE if Matt Hardy is in AEW and Jeff Hardy have nothing to do in AEW yet now there is a one basic reason for that and the reason is the contract of Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy was supposed to end at exactly the same time but because of the fact that Jeff Hardy got injured his contract become extended than that of Matt Hardy and when the contract of Matt Hardy expired he left the company but Jeff Hardy is still under contract with WWE and we don't have any such information that how long this contract will be for Jeff Hardy anyways if the jeff hardy con- if the ha- contract of jeff hardy will expire there are full possibilities that jeff hardy is not going to renew his contract with the company and going to walk out from the company to join aew fs1 network has decided to cut back on the weekly production of wwe backstage this arises several questions this arises several questions of cm punk future and association with wwe shoulders program now there is one important thing that we all should keep in our mind that wwe backstage is responsible to bringing cm punk in wwe universe but cm punk contract is with fox and not with wwe hence if the company decided to move wwe backstage uh to the wwe network there will be no guarantee that cm punk will continue to be associated with the show we are not going to see cm punk on backstage at all but there are still chances of wwe return of cm punk and this is not what i am saying i am talking about triple h earlier this year when triple h was asked if both of these superstars that means aj lee and cm punk there is any chances of return of both of these superstars cm punk didn't uh, deny it completely and responded like this if it was right for them for the company for everyone involved then absolutely i don't think that's ever been a factor of somebody saying this person should be here or that person should be here he added in a perfect word yes yeah, sure again you have heard vince eco that sentiments so many times of the year never say never by the statement of triple h it's pretty clear that there are full possibilities of cm punk returning to wwe Mm-hmm. 
Drew McIntyre has hinted that he would want to face Randy Orton soon. But as far as I think and as far as most of the people think that Brock Lesnar is gonna be the one that Drew McIntyre will face at SummerSlam because of the following reason. Brock Lesnar is beast incarnate and defeating Brock Lesnar under 5 minutes is something which is called prestigious for the superstar and equally disrespectful for the beast. So it's very clear that the rivalry between Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre is not over yet. Brock Lesnar have some unfinished business with Drew McIntyre that he gonna solve at SummerSlam. So these are all the latest news about WWE. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.